Hello guys, welcome to JMF Flying Gaming. So today I have a Never Mortal Kombat X type of video for you guys. And so today we're actually going to be talking about the Combat Pack 3 that has not been confirmed yet, but a lot of people think we're going to get it because of a lot of hints and you know hints from Ed Boon talking about you know uh, Combat Pack 3. And so basically, I'm just going to give you guys my predictions of what it could possibly be. All right, so here we go. So what I'm gonna do, since Comic Pack One and Two had two guest characters and two Marvel, not Marvel, oh my goodness, two Mortal Kombat characters, I'll do one of my um, choices to be that, and then one of them will be just all Mortal Kombat characters. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the first one. So for guest characters, if you guys didn't know, uh, Michael Myers and Terminator were supposed to be in it. But then you get a chance to get into it because you know, well, Leatherface took over, and good old um, <laughs> Alien, and well, Xenomorph, and so yeah, that's why Michael Myers and Terminator weren't up there because of them, and so I would just keep them, you know, in that. So I know a lot of people wouldn't want Michael Myers because of Jason, even though I would like to see them both fight each other, but you know. They would have similar moves, but you know, they could do something unique for Michael Myers. And plus, what could he do with uh, a kitchen knife? But you know, I can't judge. I mean, that's the homie, too. Alright, so for Mortal Kombat characters, I would have to go with Jade and Fujin. Alright, because one, Jade, you know, she was in the story mode. Same thing with well, Fujin was in the story mode. And in the comics, but you know, of course, he wasn't in the comic pack two or you know, in the main roster. He got cut from the main roster very early, but you know, yeah, he deserves to be in a playable character in Mortal Kombat X. You know, he has been getting rejected a lot. I mean, he didn't make it in MK9, I mean, he didn't make it in MKX, so that's kind of messed up. Uh, and so with Jade, she wasn't even in the story mode, like I said. She's just only in Katana's ending. There's no mentions at all of her. And so a lot of people really want her. And so the way Jade could be in it is, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, Katana, she got, you know, Jade's weapons and stuff. It's like, um, so what? What's that have to do with anything? I mean, come on. Uh, a lot of people have the same weapons. But anyways, if she was in it, I would like her to even have a hammer. A sword or a spear something different something unique for her uh, Shinnok you know he had a staff and stuff but he didn't actually well he did use it well it was like a scythe actually he had instead of a staff he had a scythe and it's pretty cool you know with the he was able to use it but with Jade it would be unique to be able to see a female character with a hammer and so you know something different twist it up a little bit all right, and so then for my all MK combat pack. All right, so I would have to say, man, there's a lot of good choices. All right, so let me go, let me explain why for it, the reason why I chose these people. All right, so number one would have to be Nightwolf. All right, Nightwolf, you know, he's a good character, you know, somebody unique in a way. You know, he uses tomahawks, or, you know, some people just call him axes, but I call him tomahawks. And, you know, he's a a spirit like aura you know bow and arrow so that's pretty cool and so when Kunjin's picture got released and stuff you know just the hand and the bow we all thought it was going to be night wolf or a female version of him but of course we were wrong and it was you know Kunjin. but you know i'm not hating on Kunjin. i really like Kunjin. i'm not gonna lie and so yeah he deserves to he looks very good in mkx you know being a reverend and stuff and so my second choice of course would have to be jade again and i already gave an explanation of why she should be in it and so my third person would have to be noob Cybot. and so a lot of people are saying no he can't be in it you know we got johnny cage he got that double stunt like for real um aren't there like five different ninjas in the game oh we can't have um you know rain or nude because there's ever like five different ninjas like for real no like 
they can do something different with Noob Saibot. And of course, it's only for a limited time with Johnny Cage, if you guys didn't know. It's not like you're going to be able to, you know, constantly use the moves and stuff that involves the, you know, stunt double. And plus, it's kind of different from, you know, Noob Saibot in a way. But Noob Saibot, he deserves to be in it. We don't know, you know, what happened to him. Of course, he's dead, apparently. But, hey, who knows? He might be alive, you know. Who knows? Because, you know, I do, I think I did do a theory video on him. So, I'll give you guys all the links to all the different videos I've done that's related to this in a way. And so, my fourth person, I would have to choose. It would either be between Serena. No, it would have to be Serena, alright? Or Rain. Alright, so Rain, of course, you know, people are saying, no, he can't be um, DLC because... He was our DLC in MK9. It's like, okay, so let's talk about Call of Duty. Let's not get started with Call of Duty, all right? Because Call of Duty sometimes, if you haven't noticed, some of the guns that are in some games are basically the same um, DLC-wise, some of them, all right? Not most of them, or not all of them, but just some of them. And so we can't really talk about anything. I know, yes, character-wise, you know, we could argue about that, but... Rain, if you really love him, and if you're really a Mortal Kombat fan, you would, you know, buy him. And then Serena, of course, same story with Fujin. You know, she just made an appearance in the NKX story. Not really a big deal, kind of. And she could be something unique in a way. You know, do something with her knives and stuff. Of course, yes, people are like, well, Kano got knives. But still, uh, Kano had knives. And, yeah. <laughs> so you can do something different with her, you know, something unique that's different from Kano. And so, you know, we don't have to compare the two, you know. So, what do you guys think of this? So, do you guys like my first choice of a combat pack 3 or the second choice of a combat pack 3? So, let me know in the comments down below. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at jmaflinkgaming. Uh, soon, I would like to do, eventually, I would like to do a Night Wolf theory video. And... Until next time, you guys, subscribe. And until next time, you guys, see you guys later.